Hello guys, this is Frank Ilo from Afri Design Studios. Today we shall be looking at how to create the gable dodge, the gable dodge roof style. How do you go about creating this particular roof style? The first thing you do is to go to your project browser and double click on your roof plan level. For this our lesson, we have our roof plan level at 06 roof. Then I double click on it. After doing that, the next thing I have to do is to create, to start sketching the pattern of the gable dodge. But as you can see from this roof plan, I am constrained to work because the view range of my roof plan does not allow me to see the entire pattern of this roof or the entire outlook. What that means is that the area or the height from where the roof was cut has excluded the other part of this roof, the upper part of it. So how do you bring in the remaining upper part of this roof so you can see the roof plan in its entirety, in its wholeness? What we are going to do now is this. We are going to go to the properties. When we go to the properties, you scroll down or up as the case may be to locate your view range okay this is the view range click on edit then here you have top offset you clean what is there and put in something that put in a figure that you are very sure is higher than the height of your roof this will enable you to see the entire roof from the top so I type in 6,000 because I know there is no way this my roof is up to 6,000. For the cut plane, I also type in 6,000. 6,000. Then I click OK. After clicking OK, if you look at the roof now, you can see the whole roof has appeared. The entire roof has appeared. Now, it will make the work easier for you to sketch. The next thing we have to do is this. We are going to draw a temporary line. A temporary line that is going to guide us in sketching our dosh, no, I'm sorry, in sketching our gable dosh pattern. So what do we do? I go to annotate, click on annotate, click on detail line, then Come to offset here, click inside the offset box and type in 900. It may not necessarily be 900, but for this lesson, I am pegging it at 900. Your own design will determine what figure you have to put there. So I come here now, click here, and move to my left and click. I press escape twice, or I can right click with my mouse and cancel twice after doing that the next thing i have to do is this i make sure that this horizontal line is touching this slanted line on this edge and touching this other one on this edge it must not extend beyond these two lines like we have it here so what i'm going to do now is this i click on this and drag this one to this line once it gets to that line, you are going to see the blue line will be highlighted. That is how to know. Then I click on this other button, this blue button. Click on it and drag it to this other one. Once I have done that, I click outside. The next thing I have to do is to click on the roof. I click on the roof now. Go to edit footprint. Click on line. Then I come to this edge. Click on this tip. Click here and move it to this line, the horizontal line we initially drew. I told you it's going to serve as a guide. Then I click here. 
and come here click here and come here click here then I press escape twice again the next thing I'm going to do is to come to this line this horizontal line here I am going to delete this line click on this line and delete it after doing that I can select these three lines at once by clicking here and holding my mouse and dragging it across to window them and select after selecting them i go here define slope uncheck it uncheck after unchecking it the next thing i have to do is this i come to finish edit mode click on finish edit mode you can see that this other part of the roof has been cut off this other part of the roof has been cut off so this is the plan of our Dutch roof but this is not yet the completed work so I click outside when I have clicked outside you may like to see how the one you have created already is looking like how does it look so you go to default 3d view click on this you can see how it looks the other part of it has been cut off so to to appreciate the shape better can we go to west elevation that is the left hand side double click on west elevation this is it this is how it looks like we have changed the the the, the shape of this roof it is looking like this so after appreciating how the thing looks like let us go back to work and complete the remaining parts of the work so we we'll go to our roof plan again 06 roof double click on it under our project project browser then you highlight this roof and click click on this roof right click and select create similar i click on this create similar i go to line select line then i come here click here and move to this point make sure you zoom very well so you can see what you are doing then i click here and click here then i move it to this other point i click here then i press escape twice this time around this line will stay i'm not going to delete it this line is going to stay but i'm going to uncheck this ones the define slope of these three i'm going to uncheck i highlight them at the same time and go to define slope uncheck it i click outside now let me tell you something this very line here you must make sure you change the slope angle to be the same with the original roof plan if not you are going to get it wrong so what i normally advise is this before ever you start doing this second part of this exercise because this is the second part before ever you do it make sure you have already determined or you have already known the the, the slope angle for this very main roof the main roof know the slope angle for me this very roof has 40 degrees as the slope angle for the main roof what I'm going to do now is this. I'm going to change this one too. From 30 to 40. 40 degrees. I press. I click outside twice. After doing this, I'm going to click on finish edit mode. You can see we have created another roof here. But this roof, if we look at it from the default 3D view, you are going to discover that this roof is inside. It is below the original where it should be. Okay, let's have a look. I go to default 3D view. Now you can see what I'm saying. This roof, this very one, this second one, is beneath. So we have to lift it up to match with this main roof. Okay? So I go to south elevation, double click on south. Then I come here, click on this. And I click on move. Then I come here, click here, and drag it up and position it here. 
then I'm going to click outside now. When I click outside, you will see how the roof has turned out to be. This is the gable dodge roof style. So from the default 3D view, how does it look like? So I go to default 3D view and click. You will have it like this. You will have it like this. But then there is a hole here. There is a hole. What I normally do is I use extrusion to cover this hole. But I used to design my extrusion in such a way that you may not even know that it's extrusion. So your creativity should come in. Okay. So the next thing I have to do now is to create a very simple extrusion to cover this hole. I may not design it or fancy it. So let's get it started. I go to South Elevation, double click on it. It will bring me here. Okay, I may not explain this because I have already thought about extrusion in the past. So if you have not gotten it, you should check my other videos for how to do extrusion. Because there is no time. I don't want this video to take much time. So I'm going to select this plane here. Then I go to pick lines. I select this inner line, this one, and this other inner one. I click on trim. Click on this and click on this to trim it. Click on this and click on this to trim it. The next thing I have to do is to give thickness to the extrusion. I come here, extrusion end, I call it, I give it 75 millimeters. Then I'm going to assign a material to it. Click here and select a material. I select this gypsum wall board as my material. I click on it and click OK. Then I click finish edit mode. Finish model. Now, if I look at this thing from the left hand side or right hand side, you are going to see that this particular extrusion is not lapping on this roof. It is far away from the roof because we used this plane, this beam as our plane. And this beam and this roof are not on the same plane. So we are going to go to West Elevation where we are finally going to lift this material and push it backwards to the roof. <coughs> so we go to West Elevation. So you can see what I'm saying. This is the extrusion we created now. Click on it. Click on move. And click here and drag it. And position it here. And when this comes out, click OK. Click outside. Then go to default 3D view. What do you see? It has been covered. It has entered. So if we look at any of our 3D views, let's see how it looks like. Okay, we may not see it very well from there. Okay, look at this. Look at it here. This is exactly what we have done. This is it. Okay. So this is how to create the gable dodge. In our next lesson, we are going to look at how to do it in another method. Because we have two methods of doing this. We are going to look at the other method of creating the Gable Dodge. Thank you for watching this video. You can help us or motivate us by liking this video, sharing this video, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. When you even recommend us to your friends, that will make us more motivated to serve you better. Thank you once again for watching.